Hi, my name is Nicholas. Today I'm going to show you Impact Reinforcement's new QR functionality. QR is a web application from Celsa Steel Service for scheduling reinforcement. Um, first off, I'm going to create a project in the QR uh, UI. Uh, once that's created, I can do everything else in uh, in impact reinforcement. So I'll open up AutoCAD and here's a drawing I created, a very simple uh, example uh, with a couple of bars which are split into two groups uh, for um, uh, to represent two different buildings. Um, if I open up QR schedules command uh, this is going to give me an empty screen uh, because I'm not connected to any project I am logged in though, you can see my username here, and uh, here you fill in username, password, and a URL, which is provided from Salsa. Um, there's a button to open up the Internet Explorer to the correct URL, and to connect the project, I click on this button. So these are the projects that I have access to, um, both my own projects and those shared with me. So, now I'm connected to the project, and of course it's empty because it's new. Um, so what I need to do is to create a new schedule. Uh, and I need to uh, connect this schedule to a project part. So first off I need to create a new project part. So I'm going to organize this into um, uh, buildings. So I'll have one project part for building 1 and 1 for building 2. And then I'll organize the schedules and split them into top and bottom schedules. Now you can organize the, the schedules any way you want. So uh, I need to create filters to match uh, uh, my organization. So I've used the, the construction part field to specify building for the bars. So I'll set one filter for building one, and then we need one for placement. And I'm going to set that to top. Now you can see here that uh, there are a number of fields that you can uh, filter on. Okay, so when that's created, this is going to scan the drawing to, uh, to check which bars belong to this schedule. And you can see here that uh, roughly 38% of the bars in the drawing uh, belong to this schedule. Uh, and this is important because um, we you always should always aim for having 100% of the bars. Uh, this is a quick check to see that you're not missing any bars when you're scheduling. And also to see that you're not double counting any bars because that would uh, uh, turn out to be above 100%. So you can either send this schedule uh, to QR directly from here, or you can view it first to see which bars you have and any parameters on that bar. So let's send that. Okay. So let's quickly check in QR. And okay, here we have building one, misspelt of course, uh, and there's our schedule. And this should correspond to what we had in impact reinforcement. Um, so, uh, another important thing to note is that anytime we have a schedule open in QR, this is going to lock the schedule. So that means we won't be able to, uh, to make any changes from impact reinforcement. So it's important to always close that after you finish looking at it. So I'll open up QR schedules again and just make a few copies uh, so we have uh, complete coverage of this. Uh, we want a 
scheduled for building one bottom. I'll just modify the filter. I'll make another copy of this and a new project part for building two. So we have 100% coverage, so we should be fine to send all of these. Okay, there's uh, a bit of an error there. We have a revision A on these, yeah, but this is still in beta, so that should be fixed soon. Um, speaking of revisions, uh, let's make a couple of changes here, just to see how that uh, affects. Um, schedules so let's add a uh, we'll make sure we have a building here let's add a, a new bar um, let's remove a bar and we'll change the parameters the length of one of these So whenever we've done a change, uh, we go back to the QR schedules command. This scans the drawing and QR uh, to see what changes we have. So we have two schedules that have changed. Uh, we can double click on one of them to see what's happened. So here you can see that uh, we have one modified uh, bar, which is it was a C-shaped one. Uh, we have one bar which is removed and one bar that is uh, added. Uh, if you have a long list of bars uh, you can check this to show only the changes and then when you're, when you're ready to, uh, to send that you can click on send to QR. Now it's possible uh, before the first revision uh, you can uh, uh, click on overwrite QR instead of send and that will uh, not add a rev revision to to the schedule. But after the first send, uh, it should always revise. And we, since the, the, the shape C was in uh, the schedule as well, we, we have changed to this one as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it from uh, uh, Impact Reinforcements QR functionality. Thanks for listening.